Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Gemini. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we are going to take a look and see what's next in love for you guys. Okay, and then we'll finish off the read to see, you know, what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, let's talk about Gemini. What messages do we have here for Gemini in love? What's next in love for Gemini? What's next in love for Gemini for September 2024? So we have the Ace of Pentacles here. Someone here could be offering commitment here. You know, someone here sees prosperity here with you. It seems like someone here is about to spill the tea about how what they want with you, how they feel about you here. Because whoever this is, I feel like this person wants to build a future here with you. We have the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So whoever this is, you know, this is someone here who's ready to sort of like take the next steps here with you. All right. You know, so I feel like, you know, um, this person, you know, is coming forward to basically tell you how they feel and tell you what they want from you. You know, um, uh, what their intentions are here with you is to have some sort of commitment here with you, all right? We have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, if this person is juggling you with other people here, like I feel like this person no longer wants to juggle. If this person's indecisive here, this person's basically making a decisive decision about you here. Lots of pentacles here. So I feel like this person's sort of like ready for the real deal here, okay? We have the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Let's, this, let's say if this person was in this energy of putting you in the friends with benefits zone here, you know, and you know, and it, it was mostly like mainly sexy time between you and the person here. This person does not want that anymore. Yeah, this person's not really interested in just the sex. This person basically want more, wants more with you. All right, let's see. We also have the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, I feel like this person's about to get something off their chest about what they want here. Okay, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. What the um, uh, Queen of Swords could be dealing with another air sign here. Tell me the uh, Ace of Pentacles here. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The Ace of Pentacles here and the Four of Swords here. The Four of Swords in this is in the reverse, by the way. So if you're in no communication with this person here, this person's about to break no communication here to come forward to tell you. Basically to spill the tea that this person's basically in love with you. Uh, this person's hoping that you will take them back. This person's hoping that you will accept their offer here, uh, Gemini. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy. Tell me the Page of Pentacles here. The Page of Pentacles here and the Justice card here. Yeah, whoever this is, I feel like this person's ready to commit. This person is coming in to tell you the truth here, okay? So I feel like this person's like, like I said, this person's spilling the tea here. This person's dropping truth bombs here, okay? Do you feel like this person is, you know, very honest about this? And they're just ready to sort of like take the next steps here with you. You know, like I said, with the two of pentacles in the reverse, this person was juggling before, but in the reverse, this person is no longer juggling here. This person basically with the three of pentacles here wants to work together with you as a team to build this connection together. We have the knight of wands here and the page of wands. You know, I feel like more so with this knight of wands here, I do feel like this person is chasing you very, 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 very hard here. Okay. Um, I do feel like this person's still very passionate about you. This person's very sexually attracted to you here. You know, I feel like this person's gonna stop at nothing to until they catch you here, okay? Or to be able to have a conversation here with you. Some of the Queen of Swords here, the Queen of Swords, and also we have the Death card here. I mean, Gemini, you could be in this energy of like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep the door closed on this person here. I'm just gonna continue moving forward and not look back here, okay? Some of you guys could be over this here. Some of you guys could be done with this, all right? But you know, I do feel like this person's definitely, you know is in this energy of wanting commitment and fulfillment, you know, with you, 
okay? So I'm gonna take that here. Tell me more about Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for, work on for September 2024. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for, work on for September 2024. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles and also the Sun of Wands here. Some of the pentacles and the sum of the wands. Okay. We have the strength card. And also the hangman, Piscean energy. And also the sun card and the hermit. Hmm. You know, I feel like this is your energy over here, Gemini. You know, this is uh, uh, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're not wasting any more time on this. You don't want to look back on this. You know, I feel like you have strong, firm boundaries with this person here. And with the King to Queen of Swords, so I feel like this is you, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I just feel like you just want to invest more time and energy into this person here. Okay. You know, I feel like you guys are going through a period of, you know, healing you know, um, spiritual enlightenment here, you know, going on your spiritual path, introspecting, self-reflecting here, being on your own for a little bit here, you know, so I feel like you guys are definitely in this energy of like, you know, sort of like moving on from this and letting this go. Some of you guys could be working on your shadow side here, doing shadow work here, all right? Some of you guys could be in the middle of going through your dark night of the soul. Tell me the strength card, the strength card, and the ten of swords, yeah. Between you and this person here, I mean, there could have been a major betrayal here. You know, it seems like there was because I feel like this person was coming off as someone who was very immature here. You know? And I feel like you're still trying to get back on your own two feet here. I feel like you're still trying to recover from this. Tell me about the hangman here. Tell me about the hangman here. And the six of swords. Yeah, something is being illuminated for you. Like, I feel like since you separated from this person or since you haven't been with this person, I feel like your path has been illuminated. You know, perhaps, you know, this person might have created blockages in your life here where I feel like you felt like you were not moving forward or that you felt like you were not being creative here or that you felt like you were not doing anything. Some of the sun card here. Why is the sun card here? And the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I, I also feel like you just don't trust this person. You know, with the Seven of Swords here, I just feel like you're in this energy of just protecting yourself, protecting your energies at this time here. It's time with the Hermit card. The Hermit card here and the Ace of Cups. And I feel like with the Ace of Cups here, this is regarding your self-love here. I feel like you guys are just nourishing yourself and nurturing yourself and just taking care of you at this time. So when it comes to, you know, this person coming in, you know, to, you know, spill the beans on how they feel about you and what they want from you, I just feel like it right now in this very moment, you guys are just not going to touch this with a 10-foot pole here. Let's see what else we have. We have the world, yeah. With the world card here, I feel like we're pretty much done with this. The cycle has ended here for you. Yeah, um, but you know, with the Ten of Cups here, this could also be indication that, you know, you're moving on towards your happiness here. You're moving on towards your fulfillment here. I don't know, maybe some of you guys could be in a new happy relationship where, you know, you guys are just fine where you guys are at and this person that's coming back around, you know, it is not gonna affect you. Uh, you know, I feel like you guys are unbothered here, unbothered here. You know, I feel like you guys, you know, could be in this energy of just not really, you know, even reacting uh, to this person coming back towards you or speaking, you know, uh, uh, their truth here. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.